This is part two of the Riding with Confidence series. We're going to do exercises 10 through 17. First one is bending at the wall. And this exercise is designed to get Jesse more flexible and supple. I must admit this is one of my more difficult exercises. Clinton says he can't teach feel or timing. And while I've improved a bunch, I think my feel and timing, judging from this exercise, is a bit off. The goal of this exercise is to have Jessie walk in a circle with her inside hind leg stepping up underneath her and to stay in that circle until I let her loose and go straight. With exercise number 11, stop at the woe, I want to ride down the fence with a loose rein, sit, say woe, and have Jessie stop within two steps. I'm trying to do this without picking up on the ring. After the exercise, I'll flex her to each side, do a couple of circles, and take off in the opposite direction. Once she has it down at the trot, we try it at the canter. Sit first, say whoa, and she should stop within two steps. Good girl. The four-leaf clover exercise at the trot helps to establish the steering wheel. Here I'm doing right-hand circles and intersecting that cone through the middle. This exercise ends with us stopping in the center, right by the cone. Once we have it at the trot, we'll try it at the canter. The faster we go, the more difficult it is to steer her. Because we rest at that center cone, as we go through here, she's looking to rest. Only means that I have to go around a couple more times before we actually stop. The post-to-post -post exercise teaches Jessie to go in a straight line. Here I ride directly to a post, and when she veers off in one direction, I circle her in the opposite direction. And then I head off to another post, keeping my eyes focused on that post and keeping her going right there, if she veers off, I'll take her in the uh, circle in the opposite direction she wanted to go. 
This way she learns to listen to me as far as which direction to go. She wants to go to the left, so I'll take her to the right. And then head off for another post. And then I'll stop at that post and let her rest. Yielding hindquarters at defense and side passing is the first step to learning the side pass. Here I walk along the fence, tip Jesse's nose into the fence, put my outside leg, and ask for a couple of side pass steps. Vertical at the standstill is one of those timing and feel exercises that I have difficulty with. This exercise is designed to help get collection out of Jessie, to get her listening to me. Yielding the hindquarters and backing up is the first step in teaching the horse how to back up. First you yield the hindquarters to keep, get the feet moving and then you ask for the backup. Once you get a couple of steps, stop. 